Ted, I don't want you to make a big deal out of this. We're trying to do something really tricky. We're trying to make you look like a working newsman. Huh? All right. All right. What's going on? Well, the station manager ordered some new promos for the six o'clock news. <laughs> okay, Ted, okay. All you have to do is pull a copy off the teletype, walk over to the desk, pick up the phone, and pretend somebody's calling in a big story. Got it? <laughs> okay, let's shoot it. Give me that. Shoot! Now, go on! <laughs> Ring, ring. Hello? Somebody's calling in a big story. Oh. Ted, we're not using sound. Forget it. Cut. Cut. Let's just have you sitting at the desk. Uh, and take off your jacket. Take off your jacket. You look more relaxed. I feel more relaxed with my jacket on, Lou. It makes me feel more like a man. <laughs> Ted, why don't you try typing? Okay. T, 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 T. <laughs> Cut! Hey, there's a four alarm fire downtown. Will you hold it down? Newsmen are working. Four alarm? Yeah. Great. Murray, take Ted and shoot him at the fire. <laughs> at the fire, Lou? Let's go, Ted. Uh, it's not for my own safety, mind you, but I. I just remembered I have a previous engagement. What engagement? And make it good. Uh, well, I, I have to pay my last respects to my closest friend. One day, laughing, joking, eating, and the next, the old happy hunting ground. <laughs> it was tragic. But why cry over spilled milk? <laughs> I guess I better go to that fire. <laughs> well said, boy, let's go. Yeah. Washington and Third. <laughs> Hiya, Mayor. Hi. Hello, Lou. Hey, what are you doing here? Mary, I had this crazy idea, and I just had to come over and tell you about it. You know how you said you had nothing planned for this weekend? Yeah. Let's go to New York. New York? Yeah. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. We'll, we'll take in a couple of shows, you know, go shopping, see the ballet, right. eat some great food, go to a wedding. My sister's wedding. Now, Mary, you'll be having such a great time. Surely you can spare an hour to come to my little sister's wedding. Yeah, sure. <laughs> great. Oh, but I must warn you about one thing. My parents will be there. Oh. <laughs> You look terrific. <laughs> hey, listen, I'll bet you two must be exhausted. Oh, no, not really. Hey, uh, Pop, could we come in, please? <laughs> come on. It's crazy. Oh, okay, how good it. to see oh, you, Pop. Oh, honey, it's so good you to see you. Give the old Mr. bellhop here the thing. Oh, okay. Lola. Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> and Mary. Hi. Oh, welcome to Fun City. <laughs> apartment. Oh, it, it's lovely. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, well, that's just a copy. <laughs> Come on and sit down, Mary. Oh, no, 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 I can't. I've got a cab waiting downstairs. I just stopped in to say hello on my way to the hotel. Hotel? Martin, she said hotel in our house. Mary, I'm surprised at you, Mary. I'm going to go down to the cab. I'm going to get your bag, and I'm going to pay the cab for Oh, no, no. Listen, how much would you like me to tip? No. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. No, but I've got a room all reserved with a view of the park. Uh... Oh, Mary, you don't want to see what goes on in that park. <laughs> Where's Debbie? Where's She's Where's... out. Oh, but right. it's all right. She's engaged. She's got till 1.30. <laughs> Mary, you are going to have a wonderful time. I know. <laughs> Let me take you on a little tour. Let's see. Oh, we start with the mantle. You will never in a million years guess who is in this photo. Rhoda! Yeah, right. Oh, look. 
Oh, yeah, that's me, all right. When I just reached the age of not dating. Ah. Uh, Mary, I want you to come in with me to the guest room. <laughs> Surprised? Hey. Oh, look, you were prepared for me. Yeah, and you were talking hotels. <laughs> Listen, maybe I should stay in a hotel. I really feel I'm imposing. I'm going to be in your way. Nonsense. We'll be in your way. Mr. Morgenstern, where's, where's my makeup case? What makeup case? The cab driver said this was all. Uh oh. Huh? Well, don't worry. Don't worry. New York cab drivers always return everything. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call them the first thing in the morning. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to have to borrow some things, though. Uh, what? Let's see. Toothbrush, toothpaste, hair rollers, oh. nightgown. Hair rollers, nightgown. So what did you have left to pack in here? <laughs> I got some Chinese pajamas that Martin bought me three years ago that I've never worn. They're in there in the break front in a gift wrap package. Come on, let's leave the girls alone. Yeah, it's late. Yes, yes. Oh, good night, girls. Good Sleep night. tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Bob. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> we never had a bug in this house. <laughs> hey, Mary, mm -hmm. look what I dug up out of a closet. What? My old diary. Oh, look. Two ticket stubs from the robe. My first date with a Christian. <laughs> yeah. Will you look at this scribbling? Oh, kid, I remember every night sitting with this diary, writing and smoking. Writing and smoking. Hey, I didn't know you ever smoked. Are you kidding? At PS 142, everybody smoked. It was required. <laughs> That's what PS meant. People smoking. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Rhoda, and you remember parties on Friday night, and the boys were always afraid to ask you to dance, and so the girls had to dance with each other? Uh, Mary, in those days, even the girls wouldn't ask me to dance. <laughs> hey, listen, Mar uh, February 23rd. Today, my mother came in my room, sat me down, and whispered that a wonderful thing was going to happen to me once a month. <laughs> They're so funny now, aren't they? Not yet. Rhoda! Oh, shh! You wake up Mom and Pop! She's here. Oh, shit, now I'm turning up. Hey, oh, Rhoda, how are you? Oh, my God, let's see. Oh, how are you? Oh, you're a beautiful thing. This is Mary. This is Debbie. My Hi, sister. Debbie. Hi. Hey, thanks for coming to my wedding. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Your wedding. My little sister's getting married. I yeah. I'm getting married. You think I should? I mean, you know, maybe I should wait a while. After all, I'm only 21. Well, Debbie. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Mary. Mary, you don't think I'm too young, do you? Oh, well, you know, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> After all, I'm 21. We're adults. <laughs> hey, thanks, you guys. I feel a lot better now, you know, after talking it out. <laughs> You suppose she sleeps this late in Minneapolis? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. cock a doodle doo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, morning. Good morning. Oh, Mary. Martin and I are so glad you came. <laughs> you know, this isn't going to be an easy visit for Rhoda. Well, yeah, coming, coming home is always a little... Well, her younger sister getting married, that's tough, but Martin and I are so grateful that you're going to be here to support Rhoda in her time of real hurt. <laughs> no, Mrs. Morgenstern, Rhoda isn't hurt. That, that Debbie is getting married? No, no, can't you see how happy she is? Ah, uh, she covers. She's unhappy because she thinks that I think that Rhoda should be getting married. Oh, that's not true. Well, yes, it is true. <laughs> I do think Rhoda should be married. Rhoda knows me. She knows there's a pain in my heart this weekend because she's not getting married. And it's hard to convince Rhoda that the pain is not there. Because there isn't anybody on this block that doesn't know that that pain is there. <laughs> but, 
this is more That's why we've decided not to talk about the wedding or dwell on it. Debbie won't mind. I mean, she's getting married. She won't know what's going on. <laughs> but the point is not to hurt Rhoda. Martin agrees with me, don't you, Martin? Oh, yes. See, what we'll do, Mary, is we'll play down the whole thing. See, it'll be a Sunday just like any other Sunday. Except there'll be a little ceremony we don't usually go to. And, uh, 350 people will be coming to dinner, that's all. That's the best way to handle it. No, Mrs. Morgenstern, listen to me, because I'm going to tell you the truth. Rhoda is delighted that Debbie is getting married. She is delighted. I mean, it never even entered her mind to be upset because Rhoda is very happy with her life. So, Mrs. Morgenstern, I am telling you, as Rhoda's best friend, who knows her better than anybody else, she is thrilled that Debbie is getting married, okay? Mary, butt out. <laughs> Right, of course Daddy? it's a big weekend. How many times has her sister come to visit, right? Ma, that's ridiculous. I'm talking about the wedding. Well, yeah, the wedding. Listen, today a lot of people get married, but a lot of people don't have a sister. Deborah, I haven't seen your wedding dress yet. You know that? Mm -hmm. It's white. <laughs> but listen, has anybody noticed how thin Rhoda's getting? Huh, Martin? What about that's that? That's right. But then she was always thin to me. Even when she was fat, she was thin. Isn't it lovely how many topics a close family has to talk about? Oh, yes. Fat, thin, dresses, white. Hey, Rhoda, we better be going. The wedding rehearsal starts pretty soon. Oh, right what now. rehearsal? You don't have to go to a rehearsal. Aunt Rose can stand in for you. I mean, that's silly. Go have fun with your friend Mary. That's right. Well, why don't you go shopping? He'll take you in a matinee. Hey, wait, folks, look, I am going to that rehearsal, okay? Rhoda, don't be so stubborn. Go to a show. Look, what do you need a rehearsal for? You'll, you'll wing it. Yeah, Debbie won't mind, will you, Deb? Sure. If you want to wing my wedding, we can wing it. <laughs> Excuse me. Mary, meet me in the bedroom, quick. <laughs> I want you to tell me every word she says to you. Mary, my mother, she is convinced that ruining Debbie's wedding will somehow make me happy. Yeah, I know. She told me. Then there's only one thing I can do. I gotta leave. Rhoda, I don't believe what I'm hearing. Mary. I mean, you dragged me here to New York. On bended knee, you got down and pleaded with me to come. And now all of a sudden you're leaving? Rhoda, come on, fun, you promised me. All right, I'm not talking fun anymore. I am talking like your mother, I am talking. <laughs> Rhoda, actually, what I am trying to say is, come on, you can't walk out on your sister's wedding. I have to, Mia. Don't you see, for Debbie. They're making it terrible for her. I mean, this is the most important thing in the kid's life, and my mother is, is ignoring it. You're sitting on my coat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Mayor, you're right. I'm being crazy. I mean, I'm gonna stay. I'm staying. Now can I have my coat? <laughs> I may not. I know you, Rhoda. Once you've got your mind made up, you don't switch that easily. All right, I give up. I'll stay. Rhoda? Yeah, kid? Is something wrong with Mom? Well, what do you mean? Well, she just told me not to act too happy at my wedding. <laughs> hey, Martin. Uh. Martin, take a look. Did you ever see such a beautiful bride? Right off a wedding cake, right? Hey, Daddy, what do you think? Uh, honey, you look beautiful. <laughs> but I'll show you somebody else who's going to look beautiful. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you talking? Morgenstern, you're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm... Putting on my top hat, hey, hey, 
button on my white tie. And I'm putting on the French so hold the great noble. Come on, Mary, come on. Take a turn with Twinkle Toes here. <laughs> I, I'm putting on my top hat. Hey, hey, putting on my white tie. And I'm putting on my tails. Big finish. Hey, hey. Wonderful dancer, you know. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, Ida, top hat. You remember? We saw that picture on our honeymoon. Yeah, right. Just uh, guess where we spent our honeymoon. Go ahead, Mary. Guess. Niagara Falls. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rhoda, hi. Where are you going? Snack. Oh, well, we were just all sitting around talking about the great places that uh, people go on their uh, happy times. <laughs> so, uh, why'd you come on in here, Rhodes? <laughs> Sit down. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mary, I'm okay. Well, of course you're okay. Why wouldn't you be okay? I mean, you got one terrific life for yourself out there in Minneapolis. <laughs> wonderful friends, wonderful job. I mean, listen. Could be Debbie here that's making the mistake, you know? <laughs> missing out on all that freedom. <laughs> missing out on all that freedom. You know, I'm uh, just going to take a little walk. Be back in a flash. Rhoda, Mary. don't go. It's okay, Mary. It's not as dangerous as you think in New York. She's going to Minneapolis. <laughs> Rhoda! Oh, my, my baby! Oh, my baby! <laughs> Debbie, Annie Rose never plays favorites. She got each of your wedding gifts. Well, who's this? Well, that's Mary, Auntie Rose. Hi. Mary! Who is she? <laughs> My friend Mary from Minneapolis. Mary! Oh, she's adorable. She's adorable. Come give your Aunt Rose a hug. <laughs> Could I speak to you for a moment in private? Yes, sure. Sure. Excuse me. Yes. Wait till you see what I got oh. you. A place setting for each of you. Oh, thank you. It's yours. All right, Mary. You're the smart one. Tell me, why is Rhoda leaving? Oh, well, Mrs. Morgenstern, I think you're talking to the wrong person. Why don't you ask Rhoda? Did you ever try and ask her anything and get a straight answer from this? Too late, Ma. Mary already knows about the wonderful thing that happens once a month. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye. Rhoda, listen, I'm going to cut this stuff. No, Mary, Wait stay. Outside. Yes, stay, Mary. I want you to stay. I want you to be the judge of this. Now sit. Judge or sit, so sit. <laughs> Rhoda, I want to tell you that I know why you're leaving, and I understand. Okay, why do you think I'm leaving? Ten to one, you're wrong. You're leaving because you're hurt that Debbie's getting married. Ma, listen to me, please. I am leaving because you have the crazy idea that if you make Debbie's wedding a disaster, I'll be happy. I can smell trouble a mile off. What's going on in here? Um, well, they're, they're having a talk, and I, I really think they should be left alone. Then why are you here? <laughs> I'm the judge. <laughs> And you're doing fine. I don't know what I did right. I don't know what I did wrong. All I know is I didn't want to hurt my favorite. Ma, I was never your favorite. Debbie was. That's true. <laughs> but you were your father's favorite. And then about the time you moved, well, your father and Debbie got very close. And so for the past five years, while you've been out in Minneapolis, although you didn't know it, you've been my favorite. <laughs> Except for those two weeks when your father and I came to visit you, and then it was okay because you were your father's favorite. <laughs> Are you finished, Ma? Yes. Okay. You can go. But before you leave, I want to give you something. Maybe after you've read this, you'll understand your mother a little better. To be read by my darling daughter on the day of her wedding. This is for Debbie. No, it's for you. I wrote it the day you were born. <laughs> Some mothers were just arrested after such an exhausting day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. 
Oh, Mary. You read it, will you? She reads it, she'll probably cry. Cry? I won't cry. Oh, well, we'll see who won't cry. Sit. <laughs> read. <laughs> Dear Marsha. Who's Marsha? That's you. It's a name your father hated. <laughs> Dear Marsha, as you are reading this letter, I see you standing in your white gown and veil. Well, this certainly has been a big day. My mother wants me to name you Rhoda, but I told her that I refuse to let her run my life anymore, Marsha. <laughs> oh, gee, you're so cute. Dark hair, dark eyes. I know you'll be lovable because we are a lovable family. Do I see tears? No. Mm, well, I just knew you'd be a girl. God has been good to me. The nurses haven't been so nice, but God... <laughs> now I have everything. A loving husband and a beautiful daughter. Someone once said... Listen, girls, it's getting late. Uh-oh. The letter. <laughs> Someone once said, a son is a son till he has a wife. A daughter is a daughter all of her life. I hope this is true for us, because tonight my imagination is running wild. When you are sweet 16, I want you to have a dancing party with an orchestra. Do you need this? No. Well, it'll be right here when you do need it. <laughs> and when you are married, I want you to have the most gorgeous wedding in the whole world with even a bigger orchestra. I hope by then we will be able to afford those things. Right now, we can't even afford you. <laughs> here I already have you married, and you haven't even had your first meal yet. Dear daughter, I love you very much. And even if... And even if I have ten more children, you will still be my favorite because you were my first. Love and kisses, your mother. <laughs> oh, Rhoda, please, you know how I hate it when you cry. <laughs> trying to film here. How's New York? Well, I didn't really get to see too much of New York. Hey, what are they doing? Didn't they get this promo on Friday? Well, we have to do it over. That fire we went to turned out to be a false alarm. But if we ever need film of Ted asking a fire chief if he can ring the bell, we've got it. <laughs> you ready, Ted? Ready, LG. Uh. <laughs> All right, shoot. Rip the copy off the machine, Ted. That's right. Now cross over to the phone. Mary, Mary, look busy. Good, Ted. Really good. I don't smile at me when I say good. <laughs> good, Ted. Good, Ted. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. <laughs> oh, oh, that's perfect, Ted. That's wonderful. Now just hang up the phone. And go get your trench coat and rush out those doors to that big story. 